Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with a new video. Today we will learn 5 eye-catching charts that will make you advance in Excel. So let's get started. Our first chart is thermometer chart. So you need just actual data and maximum data for this. Just select the range and go to insert tab. Click on charts and select here clustered column chart. Now what you have to do is in the chart design options you have here switch row column. Just select like this and your data will be converted into two series. Now just change the color of this data. Right click on this. Click on format data series. Go to fill and design. Just select like the color. Choose the color. Just I want here the solid fill as this brown. Then I want the solid line as this one then again just move to next bar and select different color uh, now for this i want no fill and i want border as a solid line just select this line color and change the width now what you have to do is just right click on this and go to format data series and here we have the series overlap option just make it 100%. Now see, this will be overlap. Now, just resize this. Your next step will be if you type here the actual value and if you change here the actual value, see, it is just changing. Now, if I type here 99, it is just giving me wrong result, right? So what we have to do is we have to freeze this maximum value. Right click on this axis. Just click on format axis and for the minimum you have to type here 0 and for maximum you have to type here 100. Just close this. Now what you have to do is just remove the extra one like chart title, grid lines you have to remove and the axis you have to remove. Also you can remove the below bottom. Now right click on the chart. Right click on this and click on format chart area and, and just select here no line and no fill. Now just change the actual value to showcase you. Now what you have to do is just go to insert tab, click on shapes and select one shape here. Just resize this and change its color like just and changing this color and the border line and see this is just looking like a thermometer now what you have to do is just select both the shapes chart and the shape by holding the control you can select both one and go to shape and make it group now your chart is ready you can change your actual value like this so moving to next chart which is the gaze one so for the gaze chart you have to create some data first that is we need here low medium and high data first just i have used here 20 then 50 then 100 and then we have to create the data for donut chart as we have here the donut chart so we have to create the donut chart first and for this just i have used here is equal to my low value and then i have used here medium minus low value then for this one i have used high minus both these and then i have used here sum function and for the data of pi so pi i have used here for this needle for this needle i have used the pi so for this i have given here two and after this i have created this one you have to select the actual value and minus your needle part and in this i have used this function is equal to the sum into two that is my needle and just i have minus both these needle and the first part so this is just a trick you have to create now what you have to do is first you have to create the donut chart select the data click on insert and go to this donut chart now right click on this 
and click on format data source just make this whole size decrease like this and change the angle slice to 270 degree as it will showcase like this now what you have to do is just double click on this this part we have to change the color of this part as no fill i've used now it is just looking like this you can change the title of this as case chart now just remove the rest items that we are not required just make it no fill no line for the whole chart now it is just looking like this now what we have to create now is the needle part for this we have to create the pie chart select the data that we have created go to insert tab and select here pie see now again just right click on this go to format data series and change the angle to 270 and now just double click on the extra part we have to change the color of this make it no fill and for this shape also make it no fill now this is your needle if you select your chart all what you can do is select the no fill no border remove this title as we are not required this remove this labels just set your needle to this chart and you can change the color of this needle only like just i want the color of this needle as red you can choose the color like this we can create the gauge chart your gauge chart is ready simply if you change the actual value like this your gauge chart will run so moving to next part which is the donut chart how we can create donut chart simply you need actual data and the completed data for this select the range and go to insert tab and click here donut chart just right click on this and go to format data series and decrease this whole size to make it more attractive now you have to double click on this orange part and change the color and make it no fill and use the border line here as black same as you can change the line of this also this part you can change you can add the solid line here also now what you have to do is just remove the labels and the chart title you can give if required you can give chart title simply i'm just giving here donut chart now we have to create one text box just i'm taking the text box between this now go to formula bar press s equal to and select your actual one press enter now resize this and align this as middle make it bold go to shape format just select the no outline and see your donut chart is ready simply if you change your actual value like just i'm giving an example if i'm changing this value to 5 it will showcase you like this you can create the donut chart now just moving to next part which is the trend arrow in labels how we can create the trend arrows like this we have in labels the trend arrows how we can create trend arrows so just select your range we have here data product and sales just select your range and just i'm moving to this just you can move this chart select the range and go to this clustered one now what you have to do is we are getting here this label in the middle just select the label which is and click on format axis go to labels and select here the low this will be short and the low part just show the labels 
click on plus sign and click on data labels now what we want to do is we want to show here this sign arrow sign we want to show the trend arrow and we want to change the color of the plus and the minus sets so what we can do is just select your data sets data labels just right click on this and click on format data labels now go to number before this you have to insert two icons that is your upward arrow and the downward arrow for this what you can do is just go to insert tab and click on symbols and click on symbols here here we have Arial just like the font Arial and in this you will get here these arrows just insert the arrows like this just I'm going to insert one by one first I want upward arrow then I want downward arrow see now select your labels right click on this and click on format data labels go to number and choose here custom one now we have to create one format code that is first I'm taking the blue for my positive values then semicolon we can use then I want red you can use brackets we have to add this and now we have to insert these arrows first I'm taking this arrow copy and again go to data label right click and select here number and just paste it here and same as click on add now we have to add the another downward copy just go to data label and go to number and add here another one the downward click on add just close this and your chart is ready just I'm moving to next part which is the actual versus target chart so how we can create this chart simply what you can do is just select your range we have here target and actual values of different years now what you can do is just go to chart and click on clustered column chart just click on the actual values right click on this and go to format data series now change the axis to secondary now change this gap width just I'm changing this gap width okay now what you have to do is just change the color of the target one just I'm formatting this by right click on this go to fill and change the color see your chart is ready but we have here the two axes just we have to make them same just right click on this and go to format axis and change here the maximum 0.2 and now you can remove one so your chart is ready so this is how you can make five eye-catching excel charts if you like this video don't forget to share this video thank you so much for watching